Hi, I'm Barry Krugel, Technical Director here at Delta Mowers. We wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about profiles and different types of profiles that we offer here at Delta. The two main standard profiles that we offer at Delta Millworks are tongue and groove and shiplap. Both offer different capabilities and pros and cons to each. We do tend to sell more tongue and groove than any other profile. And the reason being is that customers like the ability to have a hidden fastener system. We can install tongue and groove siding with a blind nailing system where you're slotting each board over the fasteners and then you'll no longer see those fasteners on the wall assembly. For shiplap profiles, it does require a face fastener. While this isn't necessarily a bad thing, customers are gonna want a different look depending on the design intent. While tongue and groove is our most popular profile, at Delta Millworks, we actually really like shiplap siding as well. The reason being is that we kind of like the exposed fastener look and it actually provides a lot of other benefits. The shiplap profile is nice because the boards can be easily removed and refinished if need be, and also replaced with extra attic stock material if needed. So we install most of our material out here with the shiplap pro profile due to the fact that we can easily back out these screws and re replace the boards when we want to. We do this so that we can test different products, different finishes, and if a board gets damaged, we can just replace it and put a new one in. So let's remove one of the boards behind me and we'll just easily back out the screws, pop the board out, and then we'll pop it back in to show you the benefits of a shiplap profile. You know, the most important thing to understand about a shiplap profile is that it requires a face fastener. These fasteners could be either nails or screws. We use screws out here because we can easily back them out and replace the board. So let's do that right now. All right, so we can pull this board out very easily. If I needed to do anything to this board, like restain it or refinish it, I can do that individually and not have to do that to the entire wall. And now let's just put it right back in. And there it is.